All right, hello everybody. Aaron here with Guns and Stuff. Today I have my Sig P365 inside of the Vetter Holster Light Tuck. This model has their claw attachment and their Cryptic Typhoon camo. So what I'm going to do is just show you a couple draws with this holster, talk about what I like and don't like about it, and then that'll pretty much sum up the video because this is just my first impressions of it. So what I really like about this better holster is when I holster it, you have that audible click. So you know that you're fully in there, you're nice and secured, and you don't have anything to really worry about. It's the other big thing that I really like about this holster is that I have the ability to take it on and off with relative ease, okay? So boom, I get in my car, I can take it out, or I can just take it, put it right back in, and then you don't have to worry about it. Their light tuck model is made of a nice, durable Tidex, and it has a nice metal hook on here. Now you can get this for different belt sizes. This is the 1.5 inch. So that's pretty much the belts I use. I don't know, I just buy them at the store. But that's apparently standard belt size, okay? So again, easy to put in there and then easy to take right out. Okay, so this is my good friend, Aaron. He's never held the Sig P365 and he hasn't seen this Vetter holster. So what I wanna do for you guys is have someone else who concealed carries for how long now? Two years. Two years, okay, and what do you usually carry with? Uh, Glock 43. And what is your holster currently? It's a sticky holster. Okay, do you carry appendix? Yes. Perfect, so another appendix carrier. So what we're gonna do is get another opinion on it from someone who has never seen it or held it. So first off, I will give you the holster. This SIG is clear. So there's the holster. Yep, you can just stick it right in the front. You don't even have to undo your belt because it's super easy to put in and out. Solid. What do you think? It's light. It is light. It's pretty and comfortable. It's not. It doesn't have a lot of sharp edges on it. Yep. It's their light tuck model, and it is curved, which I'll show you some pictures of. Um, so cool. So here is the Sig P365. This has a 12 round extension. So if you want to, you can fit that holster or put the gun right into the holster, and you got that nice audible click on there. So overall, how you feeling? I feel good. I wore kind of a tight shirt, so. which is good though, because that's the kind of clothes that you wear, yeah. and it's the same kind of clothes that I wear. So. This is what we'll be looking like in the summertime. Yep, you can give a good turnover. Perfect. What do you notice? What do you think? It comes out smooth, but I feel like it's got good retention. Just exactly. Sitting there. Exactly. I agree with you. Cool. Yeah. So I don't know if you noticed this while you had the holster in, but right here we do have this claw that's on there. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. No. So pretty much what that does is while it's in your pants, it pushes your pants out so that that grip of the gun stays tighter to your body. Do you notice how you felt the grip yeah, on your body? It, yeah. Exactly. So that makes it so you're supposed to be able to print less. Um, I think if this wasn't on here, and I'm not going to take it off, but I think if this was not on here, it would print a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some draws from it. He's going to do some draws from it, and then we'll talk to you at the end. So same thing, you can see how easy this is. Boom, clip it in, done. Take it out, once I get in my car, right back out. That was my favorite thing about my sticky holster and this Kydex holster does it. I've never liked a Kydex holster until now, honestly. So let's do some shooting with it. The cool thing with this is you hear an audible click which I'm gonna do that for you. You can hear it click in there. So just like my friend was saying, you know you have nice retention on there. Again, it is not moving around or anything else. So let's go back to it. All right, slide lock back. That's the SIG P365 and I had the 12 round magazine on there. Right. Let's keep going. Okay, so um, 
The Vetter holster, I really like it for appendix carry. I think that that's gonna be one of the best appendix carry holsters on the market, honestly. Um, but what you can do is you can put it right on your six. Is that what that's called? I don't even know what that's called. Know. I have no idea. Regardless, you can put it on your hip for a concealed carry purpose. Um, so right now, Aaron has it on his hip. How does that feel compared to the appendix? I mean, it feels just as comfortable. Um, I'm used to carrying up here, so it feels a little weird to me. But it's still the same thing. It's comfortable because yeah, of that it, claw, yeah. I think. I think, I think that, that claw really, really pushes that grip or the handle of the gun. Cool. So we're going to get you drawing, and you can say what you think. All right. Okay, so with the 12-round extended mag, you definitely can see a little bit of print on there. Now, if you could pop that magazine out for me. So with the 10-round mag, it's really not too bad. That 12 one really stands out. I myself also wear tight clothes like this, um, and I, I am going to carry with the 12-round magazine. That's 13 capacity, and it's still smaller than the Smith & Wesson Shield. But I can see how people would want to use the 10-rounder. So... All right, cool. So say you want to get in your car. The biggest thing for me is the ability to just quickly take this on and off. So take the gun off, get in the car, put it wherever you want to, stick it right there. It doesn't matter. And you're good to go. Now say you don't want to take it out or it's a high traffic area and there's still people around. The great thing about this holster, and actually I'm going to pull this out and show you, and it has to do with the point that it's the SIG P365 also, is it has such a short barrel that it's right below your crease line in your hips. So if I have this in here, boom, and I sit down, I am in no discomfort or uncomfortable at all, really, and, and still in the full range of motion to pull it out. So the ability to get in and out of my car or sit down and not have, and not have this a little bit lower and pinching me while I sit down is a big deal. So take that. Get in. What do you think sitting down? That's actually the most comfortable appendix carry holster I've ever had. I think that's the biggest gripe with carrying that position is how uncomfortable it is to have the gun there when you're sitting down, but I don't feel... And again, that's your first time sitting down with it, so... Yeah, I don't feel burdened. Okay, so again, we have the Vetter Holster Light Tuck model with the claw and the t Cryptic Typhoon Camo. Um, after using this holster today, you said you liked it. Yeah. What do you think the price of this holster is? I mean, I would I would see something like that going about fifty dollars. Okay, so the price of the light tuck model, you're pretty much spot on. Is without the claw, it's going to be fifty five dollars. The claw is an extra five dollar attachment, which I think is personally worth it to really have that grip come in towards your body. If you're not aware, and I don't, I think I told you this, but Vetter Holsters is a family owned company based out of the United States. Every holster they make is handcrafted and they put them out within two to three days. So everything is, I mean, it's quality. It's a quality holster 100%. Um, I said earlier, I've never liked Kydex holsters. That's because I think they're uncomfortable and they're really not that nicely made, to be honest. And this one is spot on. I mean, it's great material, it's durable. Without it in there, it's got a little flex to it, but the biggest thing, you got that audible click, you have adjustable retention, and then you have this nice metal clip on here. I'm not a holster review person. I don't, you can look through our videos. We don't do reviews, we do first impressions. And my first impression of this is that I really like it. The ability to have it in here and sit down just was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like I was not expecting that, or how easy it is to come in and out of your waistband. I mean, I really like this holster. Is there anything else that you wanted to say about this holster or anything to our viewers since this is your first experience with it? I mean, going from, I've had Kydex holsters in the past, um, going from that to a sticky holster and then putting another Kydex holster on it, I couldn't see getting another one besides this one, especially with that claw. I mean, people that carry know having the gun up close to you is important just for the whole printing aspect and that really does a good job of keeping it concealed like you want. So you've never shot the Sig P365 before, what do you think of that? Yeah, I've never shot this gun before. I held it the other day, but it was just briefly. Um, that's an incredibly nice gun. I would want to shoot it more before I decided to buy it, obviously. But um, it's, it's comfortable. It feels just the same in my hand as my Glock 43 does. Um, I don't know. If you haven't seen our other videos, we have a first impressions video up of the Sig P365. I highly suggest checking that out because you're going to have multiple people's perspective on what they think. We also have a video up of a thousand rounds later on this firearm and it's still going. A lot of people have had problems with it. As you can see in this whole video, the slide has locked back. I did move my thumb and he didn't have that bad habit.
So the firearm's functioning perfect. Cool. Um, all right, thank you guys for watching again. Light Tuck Better Holster. Honestly, solid, solid holster. I'm gonna put up another video in a month or so once I've really been carrying it, so I'm super comfortable with it. And this is just the first impressions. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go check out Better Holsters. Their website's really easy to use, interactive. And if you want this holster, you can get it for about any gun out there. Follow us on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.